back again. Second time lucky. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome back to another video and it's going to be another travel series. Now a lot of you guys are probably expecting me to go to the US of A as like I mentioned in the past few months in various different videos. Uh, long story short that didn't happen, it couldn't happen uh, but I'm going to make another video like explaining that. Um, today we're actually going to be heading to Dubai for a few days. Um, we're going to be flying with Emirates so we're just heading to the gate now and uh, yeah I think they're already born so we've got to make there, we've got to get there pretty quickly uh, but I'm going to make this video kind of like a um, kind of like an Emirates uh, economy class review. I didn't, I didn't one before and it like done really well so I thought might as well do the same sort of thing again but I'm going to make this like as specific as possible like very in depth if I can because I honestly don't have anything else to do on the plane it's like a seven hour flight to Dubai from Birmingham so yeah I'll try and make a review if I can but let's head to the gate and uh, let's hope I don't collapse before I get there. The usual suspect out in front worrying she's going to miss the flight. Literally, there's still like a massive queue. She just worries every single time. You just love to worry, don't you? Look, there's still a massive queue. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for a slight delay caused by uh, not turning up for some of the passengers on board. For security reasons, we have to offload their bags. We will be taking off very shortly.
Can I get the beef, please? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I have chicken and beef. Sorry. Have chicken and So just had some dinner and uh, basically the two options was, if you didn't have a vegetarian option, was uh, chicken curry or like braised beef with like um, potatoes and cheese, which I had. I wasn't a massive fan of it, but I ate what I could and then I had like a apple and blackberry crumble that was nice and like some drinks like orange juice um, or you can have like beer or wine or whatever else and I'm actually just watching the football I've watched like two matches back to back and it's actually live as well so um, that's pretty good um, I think we've got about another five and a half hours left to fly <laughs> This is what the toilet looks like on Emirates Economy.
show, show you that the leg room. It's hard to tell though, isn't it? Left turn only, remember? So, uh, yeah, kind of a bit all over the place at the moment because we just had the, basically we just had a nightmare at the uh, airport but trying we'll, to collect this car, so. We'll explain yeah, at the hotel get... because we need to get our bearings while we're driving. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, it's down here, the arrow's going down here. I'm sure, you, I thought you drove drive on the right here though. Wait, do you? Wait, the lights are on, aren't they? I don't know. I assume they're on. Oh no, they're not. Now they're on. Yeah, now they're on. Is that not a high beam? <laughs> oh my god, no, literally, you would think no one's ever drove a car before. <laughs> no, I don't. I think we should pull over and... Uh... You probably can't pull over here because we're at the airport, remember? I've got the directions on oh, my yeah. phone. So it's going to work then, isn't it? It just says head northwest. Look at the corner, is there? No. Well, that's what it says. So, maybe they know either. Do you, we're going, do you have to go up to the right? Well, that car behind it, we've got the lights on. Bloody hell, they're going to get an action straight away. I just put to that random car in. Right, I don't know how to do this. Right, just put it back to what you was on. guys so we are at the hotel now it's like 4 a.m. but we're in Dubai we made it so yeah I guess we're gonna try and get to sleep you know as soon as possible because we want to be up at like a decent hour tomorrow I say tomorrow it's today um, but yeah what was gonna say about the airport okay so so for starters, when we boarded the plane in Birmingham, the flight was delayed for like an hour, like we just sat on the runway for like an hour. Well, not on the runway, just at the, like before you even do the pushback. And um, there was like waiting for someone to board the plane when they didn't even end up boarding, so they had to take the bags off. So yeah, it was like an hour delayed. And then so we, the staff member was ill. Yeah, then a staff member was ill, which, you know, can't be helped, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, so then we arrived in Dubai like an hour late and then we had to like wait like almost like an hour just to get our baggage. I don't know what the reason for that was. Um, so yeah, we've kind of got here like a lot later than it's what like I hoped 4 to. 4 a.m. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it is like 4 a.m. Um, but there, then we went to like pick up the rental car and there was like a really big um, confusion with like the pricing and basically I bought it through like a third party like rental group thing and paid the deposit and then like the rest I had to pay here and I also had to pay for a sat nav as well and it was all sort of like messed up but yeah, it's all sorted now we have a car it's like a Hyundai Accent it's like a 1.6 petrol but petrol's dirt cheap here apparently the prices have actually just gone up as of like the something of March 
that'll probably mean it's, it's still like cheap. it's probably about 20p a litre um but yeah we're so now happy we're in our hotel we're like this is a five star hotel it's called the Oce oceana it's not oceana it's asiana asiana i think hotel. it's i think it's asiana hotel it's like i don't know a couple of miles from the airport and it's like five stars like nothing that we've ever stayed in before like we're just way out of our depth like we literally just came in we started looking for the car park we had to park the car and we literally just pulled out the ha out, out the out the front of the hotel and Danielle was like just I was like oh Danielle run in and see like go and ask where the car park is and I was like oh no it's valet parking only so I had to go like do a lap around the block just to drive it in and just leave it out the front and I was like jumped out of the car went to grab the bags out of the boot and that and then the guy there was like three guys over there I was like no 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 leave it there leave it there and they grabbed them out of the boot and like there was like oh go make your way in and go and check in and whatever else and like even he, the guy was so nice. What was his name again? I can't remember, but he was really nice. But the guy on reception was really nice. Yeah, as well. they've been really nice here, anyway. Really like hospitable. And um, yeah, so they're like they, this guy that brought our bags up to our room. Like, showed us from the room, sh like showed everything. us showed us everything in the room. Like showed us how to work everything and all that. And they basically gave us like a guided tour. And I like, bought our bags. And we didn't even we didn't even have to touch the bags. Like it just so like strange like i felt really bad like as if i should have tipped and we still yeah. don't know if that's like a done thing here or not we need well, to find out we didn't out. even have any dirhams on us anyways because yeah, we really do just cards. bring card yeah but we'll um, probably get something out the atm maybe if he's there on the last yeah well day. we need to see if it's like a done thing here because in, in japan it wasn't yeah like some countries they might find it offensive if you like go to tip them or whatever not america though definitely yeah definitely not america they will Love for you for tip them. They want their twelve percent. Yeah. Twelve um, percent. Like ten to twenty. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna like ramble on forever. But yeah, I just thought I'd update you because I haven't really talked to you guys like a whole lot today. Oh why you yeah. haven't even said. I have. Why don't don't get into it. I've already explained earlier. I'm gonna explain why we're even here in this whole separate video. Um, but yeah, um, pretty good flight, you know. Well, food, it, food was no, average. actually, food was... for Emirates, I think the flight was a bit. We only Here got we go. served drinks. No, because usually when we flew from Birmingham to Dubai before, usually you get. You need like a stool to uh, stand on. Usually, as soon as you take off, you get drinks, then you get your meal, then you get drinks with the meal, then you get a drink in between, then you get another meal, and then you get a drink with that, and then a drink before you land. But then this one, they literally gave you two drinks, didn't they? Yeah. And that's never been, Emirates usually aren't like that. Yeah, I was, I'm really dehydrated now, I'll tell you that. There's one thing you can't get enough of is like liquids and water when you're traveling, you just get so dehydrated. And um, Even I didn't have much pop and I usually have. I'm going to just drink so much water now, have a shower, refresh and get to sleep as soon as possible. And unpack and everything, but that shouldn't take too long. Mm. Right, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. I guess this has been a brutally honest review of the Emirates economy class. Like I said, we are in Dubai now. We're going to make this a series. So there's going to be another four videos or so to come. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure we're going to do be doing a lot of touristy things, a lot of fun things, and you know, just generally Bridge check out. Leafa. Just generally, just check out what. Dubai is all about so yeah I just want to thank you guys for watching please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in that next video peace